Welcome back. I'm Steve. We're going to get into some metal work on the channel, but before we do, I want to take an opportunity to kind of show you some of what I've done in the past. Now you see here on the table in front of me, I've got my Basset Hound over here. I've got some of my metal art trees. I've got the puppies in the front. You can see the different ones here. The Bashful Boxer, the Lazy Hound, and the Playful Pup. And then I've got a tree that got attacked by a Sharpie marker, which I'll show you. I'll show you all these things in a little bit more detail. But before we get started on any kind of a metal art project on the channel, I want to take an opportunity to show you some of my past work. So I'm going to go ahead and throw a little clip in and let you check it out. So I'm going to put it in right here. Beep. I did was the Tiki Surfer project. Now he was about from the tabletop I'd say he was about this about this tall and he was extremely three-dimensional. I really worked hard. I had the, the surf stance and everything to really try and get down exactly how he was kind of standing in his pose. If you came by my by my shop in my garage anytime I was working on him it would have been hilarious if you would caught me. But uh, it was a really big project and I loved it. I wanted to, to really kind of build something that took a little bit more effort uh, than just the smaller dogs and smaller things I was working with. I ended up having to create a jig and really kind of come up with some creative ways to get him together. So instead of me talking about him, here's a clip on the Tiki Surfer. Another one of my favorite projects was the Flower Planter Hot Rod. Now this started out as a quick weekend project that evolved into what it became. It was uh, going to start off with a very basic, very rough hot rod shaped flower planter for my wife. And it grew and the project took on a life of its own where a month or so later it turned out to be a, a, uh, a, a much more well, you'll see. Let me roll some pictures real quick.
So now that we're all on the same page, you guys have seen some of the work I've done in the past. Next time we get together to do metal work, we're going to work on a project. I have one of these trees that I've been working on that uh, I kind of put off to the side for a little while. It's for my daughter, and we're going to finish that next. So that will be our next metal art project. Um, and then from there, we'll dive into more things. I do have another tiki project planned for this year, which I'm really looking forward to, and I'm going to cover entirely on this channel. And uh, who knows what else. Along with some things in the shop, I need to rebuild some of my uh, work tables. I had a much larger, much more uh, capable shop at one point, and we're going to try and get back to that as much as we can. And also, uh, just anything that has to do with metal. I love fabricating little things. I'm a, uh, uh, a creative person by nature, so once I started welding and learned how to create three-dimensional objects, I could not stop. So anyways, like I said, next metal art project, We'll be finishing up a tree, so look for that coming up soon. Uh, thanks for coming by. Thanks to all my new subscribers. I do keep an eye on that. I check that daily, and uh, it excites me every time I see one, so thank you all for being there. Uh, the link's below in the uh, social media for Instagram and Facebook. I'm not updating those as much as I should be, but uh, I'm going to start working on that, especially now that we've got a lot more projects going on and the weather's changing. Uh, we will be back on Project Pigpen here shortly. And I'm also going to be introducing the VF750F Honda Interceptor project that uh, I've got to figure out what to do with. So for now, once again, thanks for watching. Uh, if you like what you saw, please hit that like button. Uh, it gives me a warm, fuzzy feeling. And uh, the subscribe button, uh, yeah, I just can't tell you how much I, I, I love seeing that. So if you really want to stay in touch and you want to make my day, hit that uh, subscribe button. Otherwise, I will see you next week. Thank you very much. Have a good week.